Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Today, I am building CDL rosters. Well, I guess I'm kind of building. I'm building the rest of the CDL rosters that aren't technically rumored or leaked or whatever you want to call it. I'm not going to, I guess, change rosters that have been rumored multiple times or leaked. But for the rest of the teams, I will be building rosters. And obviously, this is just... It's a fun thing to do. I'm, of course, going to try making sense of them. I'm going to try to make competitive rosters, fun rosters, rosters that I think will click. Let's get into it. Let's just start with, uh, we're just going to put Atlanta phase. Obviously, it's rumored that Draza will be replacing Slasher. Slasher was announced that he's an unrestricted free agent, so Slasher is free to do whatever he wants. So we'll do Sally Mavizi, Simp, and Draza. Where are you, Chris Slayer? Optic Texas is rumored to be Dashy, Shotzi, Pred. And Kenny, New York Subliners is rumored to be replacing Priesta with Sib, which has a lot of controversy around it, given the fact that they won three championships, including champs. Where's Dante? Bang. And then Toronto Ultra is rumored to be picking up Envoy in place of Hixie, which... Uh, real briefly before I do the rest of the teams, I will, if you guys uh, want, I'll speak briefly about what I think about these teams. Wait, that's Clayster. So these are the top four rumored teams. Uh, these teams have been rumored and, and leaked by different people. Um, obviously, just rumors right now. We're still at the early part of roster mania, but these are the teams that people are talking about. These are the rumors around the community. So, of course, um, we kind of have to put them in and talk about them. I will say my overall opinion on these top four is that the league has become incredibly top-heavy if these four teams form. I think... Um, a lot of questions people are asking is who won Roster Mania, and my answer would be all of them. I think on any given day, any single one of these teams can beat the other team. I don't think we'll see one team dominate. Like, like once you get to this top four, I think you can start picking names out of the hat, and whoever shows up on that day, whoever is streaking at that time, depending on maps, whatever it may be, I think these four are the top dogs. I don't think it's debatable. I think I'm going to try my best to build teams that I think can compete. And, of course, it's Call of Duty. I do think that some underdog teams or or um, teams outside of the top four will be able to compete. But I think on a consistent note, if these four teams do form and these teams are real or they end up forming, I do think these four teams, for the most part, will be the best. These are the top four rumored teams. Now, it's time for me to have some fun and, and build teams. Now, this is going to be very, very difficult because there are a lot of players here and a lot of teams that don't have any rosters or, or rumors around them. So when it comes to Boston Breach, where are you? I can put Snoopy there. Obviously, Snoopy was the first official announcement so far this offseason. It's, it's, sorry, I was going to say rumored. I'm so used to saying rumored. It's confirmed that Snoopy is going to the Boston Breach. So... Snoopy's going to go to the Boston Breach. And now I'm going to build rosters that I think can compete. And honestly, real quick, I'm going to go Slasher Priesta. I think these two teaming up would be a no-brainer. I think when it comes to Snoopy, I think he showed a lot of strength, I guess, at, at COD Champs. He was sort of, in my opinion, Boston's brightest spot at Champs. They played really well. Sorry, he played really well is what I meant to say. He's very selfless. I, I consider him like a like a Shotzi type role, not necessarily a, a roaming slayer, but I think so far I like this. I think Slasher and Priest coming together despite them both getting released, which obviously sucks, or obviously Austin rumored, or sorry, Austin. This is fucking hard. Austin is officially released, and Priest is rumored to be off New York. So I think these three make sense, the slasher Priest reunion. And then for the fourth, I think, you know, like a roaming SMG Slayer. Someone who's going to get killed, someone who's good at search. We have a few options here. I mean, I'm looking at someone like Capsule here. I think Capsule is a good pick. Someone like Standy. I think St uh, Standy is a more ratty SMG, more of a, a kill horde type player as opposed to like a super aggressive in-your-face SMG. Also, we'll put our cities down here in LAG because as far as we know, he is still there. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and put Cap. I'm putting Capsule back on Boston Breach. I'm speaking it into existence. If I'm Boston Breach, I would I would give Cap another shot. Obviously, I teamed with Cap. Cap at the end of the game was filthy. He was uh, consistent. He's a really good search player. He's slower, so he's not super aggressive. Right, not a player they really have to worry about too much. I like this roster. I think it's gonna be hard to build teams that can compete with this top four. But I like this starting point right here. 
point. And the reason I have Slasher and Priesta on Boston with Snoopy is because I do think Snoopy has some pretty high stock right now. I think a lot of people look at Snooky, uh, Snoopy, Snooky, Snooky, dude, why can't I talk today? That's f***ing Jersey Shore. I think a lot of people are rating Snoopy highly and think he can transform into a better player than we've already seen. He's only had one tournament under his belt. LA Thieves is a tricky one here. LA Thieves rumored to be losing their entire roster. Octane retires. Envoy to Ultra. Draza to Phase. Kenny to Optic. All rumored, of course. So this one's tough. I'm going to go ahead and put Clay as the main AR for Thieves. I think when it comes to, to Thieves, you think of still a, a powerhouse brand in Call of Duty. I think Clay has a lot of support behind him still. I think you're going to need someone to, to lead maybe a bit of a younger team. So I'm going to go ahead and go with Clay. I think it's got to be Slasher or Clay, and the reason I put Slasher on Boston is because if I'm Slasher, I think I'd want to play with someone like Snoopy. So I'm going to go ahead and put Clay on Thieves. I think that makes sense. Uh, powerhouse brand meets powerhouse brand. A lot of fan support, and of course, Clay has so much experience in, in leading the troops. I will also put I'm between Zangosi and Awakening here, and you have to and you have to hear out my reasoning as to why. I think Awakening under Clay's guidance can be a more complete player and could really, I guess, advance him individually as a player. And personally, playing with Joe, I do think his upside is I don't rate Wake too highly. I, I teamed with Awakening. I was in the room with him. He was my teammate for months. I saw his work ethic. I saw, I saw what he was doing in scrims. That's why I rate Wake highly. My only thing with this roster is I'd want Clay to be the hill player. So that would that would force Ghosty to sort of transform his role and be more of like a roaming slayer. Whereas I would want Clay in the hill and awo awakening as a roaming slayer. And my only issue with Clay and Ghosty together is I can see some clash when it comes to the play style. Let's go ahead and say uh, I really worry about the Ghosty Clay clash. You know what? I don't give a f I'm going with awakening, man. This is my list. I rate Ghosty very highly, and you'll see that, but I think when it comes to player clash, I worry a lot about the Clay-Ghosty clash. I'm going to go Clay and Awakening, and now I'm going to need two SMGs uh, around around these two players, and immediately, I think Afro. I think Afro is aggressive. I think he was benched in a time where it was kind of confusing. If the, the reason he got benched was kind of confusing, and... I'm not sure if I uh, agree with it. Nonetheless, this is what they decided to do. Clay is not a slow AR. Don't forget challengers players. I mean, it's going to be impossible to add challengers. Oh, wait. Oh, they have a list. Oh, never mind. Perfect. They do have some challengers here because I'm putting a booze on one of these teams. I might I might exchange Awakening for... Uh, you know what? I am. I'm, I, I, I just thought of something. LA tweet just confirmed Envoy is no longer with the LA Thieves. And also, I did make a change. So we're going to go Clayster and... Hold on. Let's let's rewind it a second. I originally had Clay and Awakening. I will go Clay and Ghosty. I do worry about a potential role clash here. But I'm sure these two can figure it out. They have, they have great brains for Call of Duty. Um, I actually think Ghosty can sort of help Clay. I think Clay has had a lot of pressure when it comes to leading teams, and I think Ghosty's communication could actually help Clay thrive individually a little more than we've seen recently. I feel like Clay, a lot of the times, is very worried about his teammates and what they're doing, and he's so hyper focused on trying to, I guess, control the chessboard that is his team. And I think Ghosty can definitely help Clay reach back into his bag and, and play a more selfish role and really start shining in the way that we know he can. When it comes to SMGs, I still like the Afro pick. I, I still rate Afro highly. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Thieves Afro. I'm gonna do Main AR Clayster, Flex Ghosty, Afro. One of your explosive SMGs was a lot of upside. And then for my fourth SMG, let me see who I wanna. I wanna target here. I do kind of want another roaming SMG Slayer, someone who's literally just gonna get kills and be like. Kind of like a, a Pred type player, right? Like not too cracked with the movement, like someone who knows where to be and when. That being said, that's a tough player to come by. Afro, Ghosty, Clay. Let's see what options we have here in the SMG world. You have a player like Vivid, who I, I, I do like Vivid's mind for the game a lot. I do like I do like Standy's play style for a team like this. Joe Deceives, I think, is underrated. I like I like Joe Deceives. Hook, 
I like Hook, but I'm worried about the Afro Hook clash. That's what I'm worried about. And then Nero, no, I'm not putting Nero next to Afro. It doesn't make sense for me personally. Pentagram, I personally don't know enough about him to uh, to like speak on his play style. I already have Capsule here with Boston Breach, man. But I do think Cap fits here as well. I do think Cap fits here as well. You know what, dude? I'm gonna go Joe Deceives. I think I'm gonna go Joe Deceives. But I do think I do think Cap would slot in well to the LA Thieves team. A lot of people are listen, man. I don't think it's fair to completely count out a player like Joe Deceives or like a player who was on a bottom team. Like, just because you played for a bad team in your first CDL season does not mean you're a bad player. It means your team sucked and that you guys didn't work well together. But look at look at Hook on LAG compared to, to Hook on Optic. Like, you have to take teams with a grain of salt and think about the, the, the player's upside. You know what I mean? I don't know. I'm still I'm still torn between Joe Deceives and a player like I worry about like the Clay Standy reunion. I don't really want to put Clay and Standy on the same team after they didn't work out together. I, I I really don't like putting teams that didn't make champs or sort of underperformed together on the same team again. So this is a lot tougher than you guys would think, by the way. Like I'm really trying to think who would slot in here. I think Fame is a nice shout shout too. I I don't think we saw really Fame's full potential here, but. I don't know. This is this is tough. For now, for now, I'm gonna make some rosters, and then we can interchange some players. I'm, we're gonna go to Minnesota Rocker. I think I am making Awakening a man AR, and I'm putting Attach back at the flex. That is what I'm doing. Everyone complains about Awakening being slow, and while I disagree with the community's hive mind surrounding Awakening, I'm making Awakening the main AR, and I'm having attach on the flex. Now, Awakening, I'm going to make a hill player. I don't got to really go too in-depth about attach. I do think he's a flex. I think he's a an underrated flex and a good flex. So I personally like it. I do think next to Wake, you can slot a couple players in at flex. I am going to keep attach there. Everyone's saying slow, but you can also put Illy there. So what are you guys thinking? Are you guys trying to put attach as an SMG or, or a main AR? What are you guys... Because you're saying that, that this roster is too slow. You want to attach as a main. Hmm. Well, I know that attach wants to run a flex. So I don't think, knowing what I know about attach and, and the role he wants to play this upcoming year, I do not, I, I mean, I'm, I'm keeping attach as the flex personally. So Attach is going to stay on the flex. It's the role that he wants to run. I think he can do it very well. And this is my list, motherfuckers. So I'm making Awakening a main. Let's go with... This is so much harder than I thought it would be. Drug Ladies and back. gentlemen, we have a special guest. Thomas Zuma Paparato, please. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm talking about. So we're live on Twitch. Tommy sees the kids making a list. He's going to get involved. Tom, essentially, the top four rosters are rumored, and we just kept those the same. The LA Thieves roster I built is Clay, Ghosty, Afro, Joe Deceives. What are your thoughts on that? Some people were kind of concerned about the Joe Deceives pick. I think Capsital does slot in well there, but I also have Capsital on Boston alongside Snoopy, Priesta, and Slasher. So give me your give me your two cents so far on what you see. I don't like it, Tony. You don't I'm like to be honest. You don't like Joe Deceives? I don't like the team in general. I don't like them as together. I don't like these well, guys together. Honestly, I had awakening in place of Ghosty to begin with because I worry about the Clay and Ghosty clash. Mm -hmm. So what Play would you Ghosty change class? I don't know. I feel like I, I, I feel like personality wise, um, I, I I don't know if it will fit. If I would change something though, I mean you bear you, not everybody could be a powerhouse team, right, Tony? That's Correct. why it's like so, you know. So you, you got to build it, teams that you think are going to mesh well, have good roles. Well, so like you got to build teams that you think can compete with these top four teams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, our yeah. job to build the best possible rosters that could compete. But if I'm yeah. being honest, no one's competing with the top four. <laughs> Yeah, I like that other team you made. I like the Boston, Boston Bridge team. I think that's a good team. I like that team. I actually like that team. I saw it before. I thought I that was a good team. I do worry about the AR balance. slang, though, because I, I like Austin played really well this year. I think Preston can be a little inconsistent. I worry about the, the sheer slang from the ARs. That's my only mm -hmm. worry, but I like the SMG duo a lot. I really I really think Cap's like a really underrated pick this offseason. Yeah, no, I, I agree. Capsule's definitely... He had a good year, too, bro, with Florida. Like, he had a lot of good moments. And I if he's won't. paired with the if he's paired with the right players around him, like if he has if he has good, you know, especially somebody like Slasher, yep. I feel like it'll elevate his game a lot. Especially nice. the fundies, especially the fundamentals, right, you know listen, what I mean? 
you're, it, it, it went from my list to a duo list, so let's talk. What are we doing for the LA Thieves? I like Clay there. I think powerhouse brand. He's a good leader. Meets powerhouse brand. I think Thieves are not going to want to lose this big fan base they've built, and I think Clay is like the perfect fit, not only as like a player, but also for the brand. Like I think Clay just makes sense. Yeah, I'm not feeling the, the SMG duo. I feel like you 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 talked about Clay and Dan. I I don't know if Clay and Dan. I actually feel like Clay and Dan might oddly work well together. Okay. In a weird in a well, weird way. Well, what I said is I do think I think Ghosty can sort of help Clay shine a bit. I think Clay has been so worried about like and, and hyper focused on like his teammates and what they're doing that he kind yeah, of stresses he's himself like out. Whereas yeah. if you have Ghosty who's just spraying comms, it can maybe let Clay shine individually more than we've seen recently. So yeah, nah. I, I checked Clay's, my mind. Clay's always been like I that. I do like sure. Clay and Ghosty. And, and I do like Afro. Like I, I do think Afro is good. Who would you put with Afro or would you just completely change the SMD duo? Who are you thinking? I mean, yeah, it, it's I, I would just pair Joe with somebody else and Afro with somebody else. You could choose one or the other, Joe or Afro, but I, I would probably let's pair him with Afro. somebody else. Let's keep Afro there and let's pick an SMG. All right. And let's All go right. through We're the keep... options. So you have someone yeah, like I'm Vivid, looking... who I think is underrated. I think Vivid makes good decisions. He's a good mm. selfless team player. I just think you might need like a slower SMG Slayer. And that's kind of why I picked Joe Deceives. Because I think Joe Deceives didn't necessarily get to highlight his true potential on, uh -huh. on, on his team. Like I don't think it's fair to say Joe Deceives isn't a good pick just because his team sucked. Like look at... Look like, at a, like a route taker here, Tony. You think so? Yeah, I feel dude, like Afro's very What I'm like, about to say, go, people go, go. are very controversial on, dude. I'm high on Mac. Mac has a lot of haters. Too. You played with Mac. I actually think Mac could be a good pick here. I, I think, listen, I, I, I know I'm, I'm very biased, so I know people will say I'm biased, but it's true. I am biased to the situation because I, I picked up Mac, I brought him into the league, and I found success with him. Yep. But he's a very unselfish player. He does a lot for the team. It's the same with Priesta. Like, I feel like a lot of people undervalue him because of, like, his stats. Well, the thing with but Mac, I, too, is people also underrate his talent. Like, Mac is Mac is talented. Like, Mac he took is... He back seat. He yeah, took a back Mac, seat Mac is, like, actually filthy. And I think people forget that. Like, when Mac first joined the league, Mac was known because he was fucking filthy. Like, that was... Yeah. Like, he's raw. Like, that he was what he was known for. He came in to be for. that slayer. He came in to be the, that guy that, that came in and got kills and slayed out. I, yeah. he, I even told him when he joined the team, bro, do what you want. Just throw your tags, hit shit, and I'll follow you up. Yep. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, and he and he definitely showed out. He turned our whole New York team around. Yep. You know? So, he, I, I rate Mac highly as well. I, I do rate him highly. So, but what do you I think? Know, Someone uh, like Mac? I think Mac could work. I think Mac would be a good pair for Afro. We, we need somebody to fill in a gap and take routes and shit like that, and Mac will do that. Like, that's what Mac does. It's sure. Just, well, listen, he does shit like that. And, of that. course, we could always swap players. Let's, let, let, let's build the best possible teams we can, and then we can go back, mix and match players, do a trade. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's, it's a little free flow. Now, I'm what just it, looking at all the SMGs, too. We got Vivid, Reese. Um, well, there's a lot of ARs. Like, Andy, ARs, there's no Asum. problem. Um, yeah, ARs is a shit ton. They're just, a SMGs are the worry here. Yeah, no, you're right. And guys, there's not many. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about Havoc in place of Mac. For for now, we'll keep we'll keep Mac and we'll go forward. What do you think about the Awakening attached duo? I would make Awakening a main AR because people complain that he's slow. I think he's raw. I play with him. I'm also biased towards him. I know how good uh, he can be. I know Dill wants to run the flex. What do you think about Awake main Dill main uh, Dill flex? Yeah, I don't duo? mind that. Yeah, I actually think everyone's I, I saying it's like too that. slow, and I think. I well, think it depends who you pair with them. I think it depends who you pair pair them with. Yeah. You know, and 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 bro, p people who who play slow can also pick up the pace and adapt their gameplay. That's that's the thing. Will they adapt? Yep. You know, like there's some players might not, and I don't I don't know if Big Wake has really adapted his play style uh, play style at all. But Dylan can adapt because I've seen yeah. him do it. I know putting, I know Dylan knows. I mean, I'm thinking one name, or I'm I'm putting Kyler on this roster. I'm going with Hook here. As the the first SMG, Hook Hook his ceiling man. Hook's got a crazy ceiling, bro. He's got he's a got crazy an ceiling. ceiling. We saw him tap into that here. I think we can't act like Wake and, and Dill are like super fast ARs. They're not. So I do think Kyler helps with a lot of speed here. No, Kyler does. He he'll help with the speed. But some you need somebody that's gonna balance Kyler out really well. Exactly. So now, um, I mean. I'm thinking this, this one's gonna be a tough one. I think uh, my worry with someone like Asim and Hook is that they're both really fast sometimes, and I feel like yeah, that can get overwhelming. Fast. I don't like yeah. I don't like those two together. I think you need I was someone a little more, slower than Kyler. I was thinking more of like a preamer, like route taker, like, like a standy. Yeah, I guess maybe like a standy. Someone like you know, standy. 
Yeah, and then I would pair Ace him up with with somebody else. I would I would pair Ace him up with uh yeah we'll we'll get there when we'll get to another team. But yeah, Standy's not a bad shout. Someone like Standy. Uh, I'm looking at the rest. Someone like Bantz, Havoc. Hmm. Bone. Fuck it, let's bring him in. He's got All a right. lot of he's got a lot of potential. But I'm <laughs> TJ Haley, motherfucker. God, you best believe TJ Haley is finding his T way out to this TJ's goddamn a, list. TJ's a good route. TJ would be a good pair for hoop. Yeah, I don't. I don't. People think I'm too biased towards TJ. I, listen, I, I can promise you this right now, motherfuckers. TJ is going to be on this goddamn list. That's a and promise. If you're not going to pair TJ with, with hoop, then I would pair him with Asim. Then Asim would be the hyper aggressive Wait, one. TJ can I be actually, the gaps I actually taker. don't mind TJ on this list or on this team. I actually don't. Yeah, I don't mind it either. I think he would, it would help in search. He's how a, he plays. He's a great search player. He's selfless. I do think, like, dude, I'm also biased, but like, I know how good Teach can be. Like, I like, I I know how good Teach can be. Like, yeah, individually. a lot of people do. A lot of people know. That's why. That's why uh, he pisses me off when he like, like, I don't know. Like, Teach. I'm putting Teach on the team. Are you, are you down for Teach here? Yeah, you can throw Teach in there. Yeah, I'm down. <laughs> Oh my Don't god, it's such a friendship league. Where is he? It is a friendship league out here. Where we do he? need to talk about Havoc, bro. We have to talk about Havoc. Well, well ha Havoc's gonna be on a team. He better he better be on a fucking team. Seattle? Dude, I'm keeping Lamar as a main. A lot of people have this thing against Lamar. And I like my, Lamar. My thing with Lamar is Lamar is an incredible leader. He's a great role player. And I do think he's definitely he had some more highlight maps this uh, this past season than a lot of people give him credit for. Yeah, I think I think with Lamar, it, it, it really just comes down to who else is out there. Like spots are obviously getting limited. Like what we got like six teams here that we got to build yep. that aren't like the top six. So this is where things get interesting, you know, because there's other ARs on a list. Plus there's people coming out of challengers. Is a Booza main AR or a flex? Let's go Vegas for Lamar because I guess he's not with Seattle anymore, and that was. No, nah, I don't yeah, think so. They announced a the departure, so we'll just put Lamar on Vegas for now. Um, a lot of people are saying friendship cheese. Um, Seattle Surge has been a threat to a lot of top teams, and Lamar has been a staple for them the entire way. And if you talk to players like Sib, Pred, they will they all vouch for Lamar. Like they all love playing with Lamar. So I know on the outside looking in, it's like okay, Lamar his KD hasn't been that great, whatever it may be. I'm telling you, some of the best players in the world loved playing with Lamar. So, let's put a young roster around him. And there's a lot of there. there's a lot of ARs on a list, bro. Holy fuck! I know, Beans, yeah, I know. There's uh, a lot of ARs. Fucking assault, Tom um, Gunless. Who else is on this list? There's hella people. Ender, I feel like Ender is super underrated here. Yeah, Ender. Yeah, Ender. Ender. Ender would be perfect for that flex spot. Next to Lamar. I, yeah, I you could put him. You could put him next to Lamar. I mean, I was I, gonna put Andrew next to Alec here on LAG. Illy's looking to come in and be like a flex role, right? Yeah, I would guess. Uh, hey, where's Donnie? Is he on this list? Oh yeah, Donnie yeah, is on the Don. list. Donnie's so, another one. I, I, I was gonna put maybe Lamar with Don, but then it's like a reunion of that New York team that sort of was a disaster. So I kind of don't want to do that. But Donnie will be on this list, of course. There's also an underrated AR that's in challengers that I think should be on this list. Who? Um, Shawnee. I think Shawnee should be on this list. That's fair. I think Shawnee's not getting into the league, if I'm being honest, based on current stock and stuff. So that sucks for him, but I do agree. I do think Shawnee's underrated. The only yeah, AR I that underrated. I... Only AR from Challengers that I think is actually... Actually has a great chance of getting it is Abuza. Yeah, Abuza. I can see Abuza getting in. And then I sure. think GodRx also. If you're picking someone after Abuza, I do think GodRx. It's like... If we're going to talk about challengers a lot, we have to highlight the people who are finding success in challengers. And God or X mm -hmm. just had a crazy... Uh, a, a, crazy lot, a lot of people are hating on Shawnee. If somebody said that's an embarrassing shout-out. I don't know how me thinking a player is good is embarrassing. I mean, it's my opinion, yeah, but... Correct. Um, I think Shawnee would be... I, I don't think a lot of you guys have been watching. Shawnee's been doing his fucking thing. Yeah. He's been doing his absolute thing in challengers. Like, he's been he's been a really good player. Yep. Um, and he's been, he's dealt with a lot of just, like, team changes and roster fugues and a whole bunch of bullshit as well. Like, he's he's, sol on? he's solid for sure. Um, A lot of people are saying gunless. Yeah, I, I already said gunless. Yep. Bro, Big P... Bro, Big P is such a good shout. He, I think Big P has to be on a team, uh, Zin. If you want my opinion, he has well, to. Well, the fact that Gunless was, like, 
the the fact he to see what a conversation is a problem. He has to. Like the like like the fact like people are really underrating the potential Pierce has. Like Pierce for literally in in multiple different games and multiple different times was the best player in the game and it wasn't close. Mm-hmm. I actually really like a gunless and illy combo. I, I think if you put Gunless and Illy together, that's a good combo. So you put Illy Gunless main, on a main. Pierce flex? No, no, no. I would put I would leave Pierce on the main. I'd have Pierce main AR, and I, then I'd put Illy as a flex. I think I'd want Pierce on a flex over over Ender. Okay, okay. Really? I, well, here's my honest opinion about Ender. Ender needs to be fully healthy. If Ender returns and isn't fully healthy, it's a mistake. Like, I'm hoping that if Ender's back, he is fully healed and he's good to go. You know what I mean? Ah, uh, yeah. But I do think Ender. Hmm. I mean, I've always just known Pierce as a flex. What do you I think mean, about Arsenal's Pierce? I just feel I feel like at, at at that point in his career and how Cod is going, he should be a main, and then you can build under him. Like I just feel like it would it would be better. It would just make the team play out better. I've also been could be biased because I've been playing Cold War H with him, and he's been running AR, and he's been just absolutely cooking. Mm-hmm. But um, he, I just feel like now, like, it's the same thing with MC, right? Like, MC was always a flex. Yeah. But now, like, the way he plays and kind of the system that COD is really getting into and kind of how it's playing out, like, I actually think if you move Big P to a main and then put Illy, I, I want Illy on a flex. I wouldn't want Illy on a main. Okay. Because yeah, you said Illy on a main. I, I wouldn't put Illy on a main. Um, he plays too quick. He plays pretty fast sometimes. Like Illy's, pre- which is a good thing. It's not a bad thing. Okay. Um, but I would probably put Illy on a on a flex, and then I would pair. I would get a cracked out sub duel with those two, and I feel like that would actually be a really good team. I think a big P Illy combo is good. Okay. With, with two subs, and then you could do whatever. You could put Illy main if that's what you want to do. It's your it's your team. You know, it's your yeah. roster. Um, Let's but go I would in order, flip it. But that, that that's great. That's great communication. I'm going Abuza as the main AR for Seattle Surge. Because let's go in order of like the teams. I like that. I like. I love. I love Abuza. I, I um, think Abuza should 100 percent get in the league. I'm going with uh, Abuza main, and now we need to discuss. And guys, Abuza's a main AR, correct? Yeah, I'm pretty I, sure Abuza's I, a main, I, right? He's he's an AR. Okay. I mean, he could he could be like a flex route, but he could be a main. He's. I'm I'm pretty sure he leans more towards a main. Okay. <clears throat> but I'm sure he's pulled out a sub every here at like here or there. Hello. Hi, Chris. What? What are you guys doing? Hey, uh, Coach Crowder. I'm making a tier list. You want to join? I'm, I'm building CDL yeah, rosters. We're building a teams. We're building teams, bro? Yeah. You have to tune in if you want. It's for a YouTube video, and we're obviously all live. But no, it's there. Okay. So right now, we're building rosters, and you're welcome to give your two cents. The more, the merrier. I'll, t- I'll pull up your stream on the side. I'm on Minecraft right now, so okay. got nothing <laughs> else to do. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> a new special guest, head coach of Atlanta Phase. The most successful team in CDL history when it comes to prize money. Over $5 million earned. James Crowder, also known, formerly known as Replays. Welcome. Yeah. My godfather. So, uh, I'm going to give you a few mock rosters so far, Chris, and you're going to give me your opinion. Wait, so, how is this going? Are we doing this like 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 realistic rosters right now? Well, so, the, the top four rosters are the rumored ones. We're not changing those. And now... Oh. We've, we've kind of just been building rosters that we think can be competitive. It's going to be tough to be competitive with these top teams, but we're trying. So, Thieves, we have Clay, Ghosty, Afro, Mac. Rocker is Awakening on main. Attach on flex. Hook and TJ Haley. And obviously, it's a friendship league. I had to put TJ in there. Um, <laughs> Boston Breach, I have Snoopy, Austin, Priest, and Capsital. And that's where we're at right now. I think that's the best team for sure so far that we made. Or that I, you made I, well because I because I I think Caps like the diamond in the rough here. I really do think Caps like a really underrated pick this off season. Yeah, he is. He definitely is. So and I still, uh, Curtis, what do you think about a, a big P Illy combo? That's what I was talking about with uh, with uh, Tony. He's thinking is big it? P on main, Ender on flex. But I was thinking yeah. making Ender a main and then putting a flex with him. That, that that's kind of where I was at. Um. Is Illy, is Illy, do we, does anyone know if Illy's healthy? That's what like, I said. I said Illy has to be healthy, and that's why I feel like the main is like the safest role for him. Yeah. I mean, if, 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 yeah, I guess, I guess that's true. If you're looking at it from that perspective, I was kind of looking at it more from the fact that like he is healthy. Wake, isn't Wake supposed to be a flex, technically? 
Yeah, so or Tony Crowder said, uh, what's going on with the Dylan and Awake duo? He doesn't know if that duo is going to work. Yeah. Kind of talking like what you were already saying about it being too slow. Yeah, I, t I, I picked, uh, I just put Awake on the main because everyone's saying that Wake is slow. So I'm like, you know what? Fine. Th throw Wake in the hill. He's a filthy slayer. If everyone wants to complain about him being slow. I know Dill wants to run the flex, so we'll put Dill on flex. But that one, yeah, th that one I understand can be uh, a tough one to get the, behind. But I mean, my my thing with Wake though is like I don't think he's like s slow. Like when, I mean, you played with him, so you know more than I do, obviously. Yes, but that's like, that's why everyone calls me biased. I, I I don't I don't think he's slow. I think he slows down in matches. Okay. Too, like too much. Like when we, when we were to scrim, you guys, like I I dude, I, I've seen Wake do some shit that like he just globe trotting. That that not. And that, that not people can replicate, like, unless you're an S like a very good player can replicate. And, like, I feel like he doesn't play with that risky in matches, like, ever. Well, I was and again, I don't know if that's true or not, but, like, that's how it seems, like, from the outside looking in. Like, every time I feel like I watch his gameplay, like, in scrims, like, he looks like he, what you just said. He's just fucking, just, like, gliding around the goddamn map, like, being yeah. God. And then, like, I feel like in matches, I feel like he doesn't take those risks. Like, not you nearly. You think it is? You think, no, you think, think it's the atmosphere assessment. and just, like, the pressure that's on, like, the everything that's on the line? I don't know. I don't know. Like, it's just like, I just feel like he takes a lot more risks and crazy chows and like crazy plays and matches. And I'm like, damn, this kid's fucking disgusting. And then like, I feel like in matches, he's not bad at matches. I just don't think he uses his impact as much as he should be. I guess that's okay. the best way to say it. Well, I mean, originally I had Clay and Awake together because I, I thought maybe mm -hmm. Clay could help Wake maybe like come out of his shell and start playing a bit more aggressive or like yeah yeah j just try to give him like a, whatever it may be I think Clay could be a player that could help Joe become a more complete player yeah and everyone was everyone was like ah oh, that team is too slow so realistically there's no winning so it, it, it's yeah, tough no, yeah. it, it's tough to build rosters that are actually going to compete with any of these top four rumored teams hmm. but I don't know what do we think let's. It's went from I mean, a, a, I, my I list actually, to both to now a trio list, so we have to be I'll just somewhat on the same page. Yeah, I'll chime in. I like I I like so far. Yeah, I mean, hey, yeah, let me look some more. I like I the like, Boston Breach team, obviously. I, feel I like, like you gotta what about wait wait wait? wait. Too. What about changing Dylan Ghosty here? Yeah, I you I like swap that. Them. You gotta think about personalities and who's gonna mesh well and and who's gonna elevate who. You know, I, I actually think when you were talking about Clay elevating uh, Wake, you were you were on something there, Tony. I think you were on to something. I think that's a good. I think it's a good play because Clay might be able to just get get to Wake. I feel like on Boston, Wake was probably like, I don't know, bro. Were people like making him accountable? Were like, what like was 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 Wake making mistakes and people were like calling him out for it, or was he that guy on Boston where he was just kind of no, running no. the show? No, I, the no, Snoopy's no. I, a rookie. It, it wasn't like that there, or at least Brent when I was, was there, a rookie. I can only speak to when I was there. I will say, you know, like he's teaming with with a bunch of with rookies, like young player, a lot of young players, you know. And Wake's not like the most veteran, like leadership, vocal, like or most vocal teammate, at least. From the outside looking in, he doesn't seem like that type of like that type of guy, especially yeah. in like listenings and stuff. Like he never really seems like that guy, like you know, dictating shit and and to like over talking. Yeah. Wake? You know, yeah, yeah Wake. no, Wake's comms are not his strong suit. Wake's strong suit saying. is his ability to get kills. Which is I why do Clay think might be a good a good duo for him. I do want to defend Wake a little bit, and it's like I do think the hive mind has sort of taken like the the super recency bias of of his map where he was like 15 and 3 on fortress hardpoint when they were down by like 10 or it was tied whatever it may be mm, i think yeah. the hive mind has really looked at that one and been like awake is such a kill whore he's so slow like i i think people are definitely over gassing that a little bit oh no yeah he's not he's not so slow to the point where like that's what that's what i was trying to get at before it's like i don't think he's so slow to the point where like it's like it's like huge fucking incredible issue i just think that he should be way more impactful yeah, no. Like, uh, like that's that's, that's my thing with him. Like, I don't think he's like, like some sort of issue. I just think that like some like for example, if he if he's with attach, like, I think Dylan's pretty slow too when he runs an AR. That's like the way his style of like AR is. Like, mm -hmm. I think Wake is too good to be. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know. I feel like like I feel like Wake shouldn't be playing the main AR on a team like that. Like, I feel like Wake needs to be the guy to like step up and like kind of get cracked still. And I think he can do that. I just think he needs to focus on that more. To Fair. be honest. Well, <laughs> switch, switch them, switch them with the uh, switch. I would switch Wake with Dill probably. Okay, so you're thinking put Wake next to Clay. Yeah, I'd put him next to it. Either if put you, Wake if next you to like Clay. That. This is what Either I had that, first, and then you have Attachy, and then you have Attachy, Attachy, Attach on Attachy. Attach on main, and then go see on flex. Or are we just changing up the comp entirely? 
What are we thinking? Um, and also, it's tough. dude, this is like impossible. By the hard. way, yeah, holy shit, yeah, this, this is this is, is impossible. You know what's crazy it's too like... is we have like no limitations. Like we don't have to worry about like contracts and price and buyouts. Yeah, I'm not like, worried I'm about saying... any of that. Also, don't worry about the org either, because the org. I, I'm just slotting teams together. I'm not sure what play. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, don't worry course. about the yeah. actual team. But it I'm goes just... to show how hard it is to build a team if you're some of these organizations. Like, it's not easy to pick like players. Correct. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, uh, Chris. I didn't mean to cut you off before. That was my bad. Forget what I was gonna say. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, no. I I'll say, the, the, another thing with Ghosty, too, is, like, I know Ghosty, like, well, he played really good at champs. But, like, I know, like, how, like, Ghosty played a lot of objective and, like, kind of, like, took a backseat, like, on optic. Mm -hmm. But I was saying it before recently, like, I, I, I'm i super curious to see how Ghosty plays on a team that he doesn't need to do that for. Because, like, I feel like Ghosty can get kills. Yeah, like, so there's a world where if he needs to play objective and do that, like, he can very easily do it and do it well, like okay. you saw, but, like, I also do feel like Ghosty has like a very high potential to actually be pretty fucking good. Yeah, like in the I sense agree. of just like getting it like, you know, pushing out, like getting more like impact that way instead of just like sitting in the hill and taking the back seat. So it's like, yeah, he can, the thing with him is he could be flexible for either team. Cause like if he plays with wake and you get wake, like moving a little bit more, it could be God, like hypothetically, <sighs> or vice versa. If he plays with someone like Dylan and Dylan becomes a little bit more objective minded and then like Ghosty starts pushing out more, like they could be God like too. This it's is like, impossible. So I'm keeping these two teams together yeah. and then we could circle back. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, yeah, keep them, keep them like. I this like, keep going. I like Abuza a lot. I like Abuza. The problem is, who do you put next to him in the AR role? Do you yeah, go Abuza or Decimate? That's Abuza, but it looks like JT. What, <laughs> what, what, what about what about Nasty? I, I, I kind of like, I like Abuza and Nasty together. Yeah, I think Nasty could work. They Nasty got that had his UK, moments. You know, they have their UK. Wait, what is Abuza? I'm not sure which from the UK. I think he might be. Uh, He's French, I, isn't I he? I thought he was French. Is Abuza French? I don't think yeah, Abuza... He's French. Is Abuza French? French? Yeah, he's French. He's Belgian. Belgian, that's what it is. Belgian. Yep, that's what I was yeah, thinking. He's Belgian. Belgian. People are saying that they're both flexes. I thought I thought he was a main AR. I mean, I could see, I could see Abuza running a main. Why don't... Uh, for this list's sake, I'm putting Abuza on the main. I'm also going to do it on the London Royal Ravens because I do think it makes a little more sense. I'm going to go. I'm going to go Abuza Nasty Duo. I think that's pretty solid. I think it's they have. Bad. I feel like they have good pace there. I think Nasty was probably London's most consistent player all season long. Like I feel like from event to event, match to match, Nasty was the one who most of the time, or at least more often than not, was shining the brightest uh -huh. on that team. So I I, I do rate Nasty. Now yeah, we could, we putting two that. SMGs around them. Who are we going left with on here? his list? Who's yeah. left on his list right now? Vic, Vic Reese, yeah. Vickle, Nero, Dandy, Nero, Hixie, Asum. Who else is here? I mean, uh, uh, I mean, real. I think Hixie will be good on this team if they had like a consistent slang SMG. Because I do think Hixie's a really good role player. Sometimes he struggles in the slang department. Like I don't think he's a super consistent slayer, but I do think he's like a really good system player. Like if you have like a a good SMG slayer next to these next to that three. I think that they can be a solid team. I feel like now we're getting to the point too, like where most of like the top slayers in the league, like low key, are kind of like on the top teams. Yep, exactly. So I mean, at, you know? at this point, it's let's hope. Yeah, at this point, you 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 know, if these players want to make a run and get up there, they're gonna have to step up in the slaying department. Um, cause it's it's hard. Like I'm looking at some of these duos, and every duo I I, I make in my head, it's like I don't know if it's strong enough to to you know beat those teams at the top. Yeah, but all those players are taken. So I think Nero's a really good shout. I feel like Nero kind of. I feel like his time with the CDL, like he deserves another shot. Personally. I agree. I mean, I think the problem with Dill is just his consistency. Like my my raw opinion on Nero is that when he starts slow, I think he tries to overcompensate and he starts playing too quick and tries doing uh. things he shouldn't to try and make up for his slow start. When he starts hot, I mean, he's very streaky, very momentum-based, insanely talented, incredible shot. Um, so I do think, I do think Dill could be a good fit. I think you'd have to have a good coach working with Dill. Like I do think Dill definitely does need some more guidance, and I worry about Abuza and Nasty. Just like Abuza's new, he, he'd be a rookie coming into the league. Nasty, I don't know a lot about him. He doesn't seem like a very, he doesn't seem like an instructor or someone like a Clay or or like a facilitator type guy, someone who's really going to sit there and try to help Nero improve. But I'm, I'm, I'm cool with Nero for now. Now, who do you put next to him? Do you go for a player like Hixie? Do you go for more slaying? 
Havoc. You like Cold Havoc here? I like Cold Havoc. I don't know why people aren't talking about Havoc. Like in the chat and shit. I don't see anybody messaging, no, like, I saw, talking about Havoc. No, I saw a few have, uh, Havoc shouts. You saw a few. I haven't seen that many in, in my I do chat, think. But... Now, listen. I do think someone like Lamar could help Nero a lot. I do think putting Nero on a team with Lamar as the main AR would help him a lot. Now, that's <clears> less to do about Lamar and more to do about Nero. Because I'm just trying to think about people who could really help Yeah, like personality's got a, got a mesh. And that's why I think Bance could be a good shout, too. Yeah, I can, I can see Bance with Nero. I like that. I just, Six, yeah. Like Bance or Havoc. Yeah. Hixie's in there, too. Or, Hixie could be a good Hixie. shout. So, I'm between Hixie, Bance... I think Havoc's a solid shout. Wait, what about uh, what about like someone like Lamar and Abuza? Lamar and Abuza together? Yeah. I feel like Abuza kind of be a flex. Well, I wouldn't mind something like that then. Cause then, well, then I would take Nasty off. Listen, get get rid of Nasty. Get rid of Nasty for and, a second. And then you, you put Abuza. Lamar? You put Abuza in the slang the slang AR category for and, the most part. Okay. You, you get Lamar. Lamar as the more objective like, slash backseat role I like this. and leadership. You get you get Nero running around like a fucking brickhead. Yep. And then you have someone like Hixie complimenting Nero's brickhead in this. No? Yeah, kind of like filling in the gaps, taking the routes, fucking doing the little shit. I mean, it works. I mean, yeah. the, I mean, my, I, my thing. I feel my like thing you kind like, of form like an like a kind of an ultra. Whereas, like, I do think insights better than than Lamar when it comes to just like his consistency. But I think play style wise, they're kind of similar. Like, I think Insight and Lamar have like a similar like slow backline type play style then you'd be betting on a booze to be like a scrappy like yeah. a pop off slayer my, my biggest thing right now is a booze of yeah is being as good as he's supposed to be my only worry with hixie on this team is i feel like there's a lot of pressure on a booze and nero to, to get kills yeah like i feel like if, if one of them have a bad game a bad map the series it's over you know what i'm saying like that's my one worry with then you'd ha then then if you get rid of Hixie and then you go for more kills. And my thing was like if it just really depends on how good because everyone talks about Abuza as being fucking godlike, so I'm not sure. I haven't really watched him play too much to be honest. But what about like a Sandy like, here? I was gonna say like if you want more kills, if you want to like take the pressure that way, like it just depends on how obviously like how much fucking faith you have in Hixie to get a lot of kills. And obviously I know like he didn't have the craziest kill category, but. Yeah, if you throw someone like Standy or someone else to like try and get some kills there, that could be like relatively decent. Standy could work. Him and a booze might I, be kind of streaky. My point is, I I think I think having someone like Nero and like is like necessary on every team. I'm sure you guys agree. Obviously, yeah. you, you need someone that's going to apply a pressure. Lot of, like, a lot of upside, yeah. but like of course, Nero Nero is one of those players that can win you a game or lose you a game. So you have to try mitigating but that. As you much have as that. Possible. With, you have that role though is every single player in that role yeah. the good players in that role just don't lose you games often because they're fucking elite yeah. like like you know obviously like any of those subs will lose you a game but like the reason why they're so good at that like at the game and like at their role is because like they've like got that role down to the point where like they can manage themselves make good decisions at the right spot like times and then yeah. also fucking like still apply pressure and be fucking godlike but i feel like nero definitely should be like still like a good look at that and like having someone like Lamar actually might help him a lot. It's either you have Nero with a really good coaching staff or you have Nero with someone like Lamar and then you pair him uh, with oh another. Oh, Lord. Jay Caps in my chat. Who built this LA Thieves roster? All of us did, Cap. Where's the more... oh, well, I, I came in after that. Well, but yes. Well, yes. <laughs> it was more. It, so, Cap, it was more so me. Uh, you don't like it, Cap? Originally, <laughs> originally, it was, originally, it was Ghosty instead of Awakening. Originally, it was Ghosty instead of Awakening. <laughs> but, Cap, this is our list, dude. Fuck off. I don't Cap, like it. Cap said, who built this LATs roster? That's who you're coaching next year, Cap. Get over it. Yeah. Either way, yeah, that, yo, I kind of like this. Your team? I do think this, this this London roster, or once again, Listen, don't really worry about the, uh, the organization. Um, I think yeah. that's solid. That's, like that's, that. the route, that's the route I would go. I like that. like that. That's a good team. That's a really good team. I do like that. I don't think Jay Cap like likes the Thieves roster. And then put the Lamar roster on the Thieves and then put move the Thieves roster to London. Beautiful. Now Cap would be happy. Sure. Let's, listen, Cap, I got a new roster for you. It's Lamar on your main. Obviously, LA's very own. You have Abuza on Flex. You have Nero on the SMG. And you have Stanwin as your other SMG. Not bad, Cap. What do you think about that, J. Cap? The reason yeah, I yeah. gave let's you make Clay... Guys LA thieves. Cap, the reason I, Cap, the reason I gave you Clay is because Powerhouse Brand wants a Powerhouse Brand player. And I thought Clay was the most seamless fit to lead, lead the Wolves. Or, 
Lead pack. the pack. Sorry. There you go. There you go. Cap doesn't like this one either. He said another roster of all time. Uh, uh, Cap, 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 there's no winning. Cap, the Cap, what do you want? We heard about the Cap, budget. Cap, what do you want the from budget. us? You know what I mean? We heard like, about the budget. What do you want here? Talks. What do you expect? What do you want to do here, bruv? I you mean, know, there's not really much. There's not, there's not much and, we and can I do saw, here. Bro, I saw some people in the chat, too, that were like, nah, not enough slang or top 18. Top, bro, did they, there's 30 the, players This is here, what no it is. How, this is what no it is. No matter where you put them, you're going to say that for anybody. That's just how it is. It's this top is, heavy. The CDL is very top heavy. But this is not what you got, man. This is you what okay? you got. I'm, I'm going to be nice. Never mind. Oh, that's not. No, <laughs> please. It's, it's, Crowder, don't be nice. Not yeah, be if a you dick, be mean, I'll be mean. No, I'm nice. Pick one player you think I'll blows. I'll pick one. <laughs> one player that I think blows? On this list right here. Oh, I was going to say you. No, I'm not on the list. <laughs> and, 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 that's fucking crazy. And I'm, I'm a, kidding, and I'm, a, and I'm a cheat code because that's not like a real answer. Um, Who sucks on this fucking list? Who's tripe? There's some good players on this list, man. You can't, can't disrespect anybody like that. I know, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> anyways, moving <laughs> forward, <laughs> let's... Listen, yeah. th these are our rosters. So we've built four complete rosters so far outside of the rumored four. We mm -hmm. have L.A. Thieves as Accuracy, Abuza, Nero, and Standy. We have Rocker as Attach on Maid, Ghosty on Flex, Hook, and TJ Haley. On Surge, we have Awakening, Clayster. Well, so we have Clay on Main, Awakening, Flex, and we have Mac and Afro. And then for Boston Breach, we have Snoopy, Slasher, Priest, a Cap. And I do think, I agree with Tom, I do think so far that is the best roster we've made so far. That team's like really good. I think I Capsule like was a sleeper a pick. I, I think I came into you guys when you started talking about that, but I think Capsule was a sleeper. My only, my only worry is the AR slang. That's my only worry. I don't know about that, bro. I mean, P-Dog's got a high ceiling. I feel like he, I, I definitely felt like P-Dog was more of like the gap filler with, with New York. He had to do like a lot of little things for them. But if he wanted to step up in a, in a slang department, he could do it. I, I will agree that there were some consistency problems. But you also got to think, I, this is this will be a little bit of a different system than his New York team, I feel like. be a little bit different. He he definitely yeah. had to step up. P-Dog could get kills, though. Like, I wouldn't undercut P-Dog like that. Like, he could definitely get kills. He's much more talented him. than people think. Yeah, but, 100%. Uh, yeah. I agree. I just, I don't know, whatever. I, I like the team. roster so far. Now, let's go to the Vegas Legion. Okay. I kind of want to keep Donnie there. I yeah, like Donnie. Donnie I think sure. I think Donnie played very well. Are we putting Donnie on the flex or, or main AR role? What are nah, we thinking? Main, main AR. We want, main. we want Donnie on main. I would put him on the main. I mean, I don't know what you guys think, but I would I would just have him on the main. Dude, you know what flexes what flexes are left? Dude, I don't mind Beans and Donnie together. I think I think Beans pre played pretty solid this year. I think Beans, get shit Beans on. is a, Beans is a chow uh, is a chowler. Like he likes to fucking chow, like shit. Like he go chow and shit and go fucking. That, like, that bro. team would get fucking pissed on. You think so? Yeah, nah, that, they're not meshing, bro. I don't know. I don't think Don and Beans are compatible. Bro, Guys, stop saying honest. gunless. Gunless and Temp are not teaming together. No, that wouldn't be a good. I don't I'm think not. I'm the... not building that roster, dude. I think I think Pierce is a good shout. Just not next maybe to Don. With, yeah, I'll say maybe not next to Don, but not next to not next to Don. What about Cammy? Mm. Yeah, we can. I, Cammy could work. A lot of people in the chat were, were saying Cammy. Yeah, Cammy's good. Let's put Cammy, Cammy next to him. Let's do. Let's do Donnie on main. We'll put Cammy on the flex. Now we do two wow. SMGs, and, and and now I think it's when it starts getting difficult. I think looking at this list, the SMG who I think has like the most potential here next up, or at least high up, is Vivid. Vivid. Uh, I like Vivid. Vivid. I like Vivid. I like Asim. I like Bants. Wait, Vivid for sure. 100%. Wait, Vivid over those guys right now for sure for the role. Or it would be Vivid or Asim, but I would do Vivid right now. I think I like... I do like Vivid there. I like Vivid. Asim and Joe to Steve's. Asim and Joe together? Yeah, I don't know why. I feel like it would just weirdly work for some odd I'm reason. Sure. I'm not sure if I like that very much. Ooh, Nasty. Nasty is a good pick as well for this type of team. Yeah, he's not a bad pick. As the flex. But then you'd have to move Cammy, and I'm not sure. I'm definitely putting Cammy on this. I, I mean, Cammy will be in the league. It'd be a serious problem if not. Yeah, Cammy should be in the league. And I definitely agree that Joe is a sleeper, bro. I feel like I feel like some people are undervaluing Joe. Well, Joe sees a little bit. It's hard. It's young, hard bro. to value any of those guys. I think exceeds better than he is too. But I think that they LA all just that, like that garbage. LA, Even Assault was well, Assault was playing really good too. It just when your I mean, team bro, sucks, team everybody thinks shit. everybody sucks. Well, and everyone also just plays bad. Yeah, like you have no comp. That that team had that team knew that they were never going to win an event. 
that team knew they sucked and like they acted like it and like i feel like when you're in an environment like that i feel like you just play worse no matter what 100 percent, you do bro it so, just like, kills your mental yeah so I, I feel like it's very hard to rate those kids like in that sense it's like kind of tough yeah because i feel like when they were playing good in the beginning of the year i know the beginning of the year is obviously early and like people learn to get better but like i thought they were relatively decent at first and i feel like they just like lost all hope and just got shit on yeah but I think Vivid. I think Vivid's definitely next, though, in the sense of like making that. Do you, you, think, you definitely need to put him in that role. What about Havoc next to Vivid? Is that a weird team? You think ten? I like Cammy, Havoc, bro. Vivid and Havoc. Havoc's got to be on a team, bro. I like Havoc. I think Havoc is a, is a good. Havoc's like a right. He's he's just like a a gap hitter, a route taker, a risk uh, a risk taker. Like he'll he'll help you a lot in S and D. We, got, we also got to think about S and D too. Like S and D is such an important game mode. I feel like Havoc would be a good fit. Hmm. I just don't know if him and Reese would just go t fucking rogue as fuck. Yeah, but 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 I do think Reese is a smart player, and Reese is I think I think Reese is a lot faster than Havoc. That's why I feel like they can weirdly complement each other. Yeah. I it's just that if you if you put if you put Havoc in there though, right, and you have this four team, like who the who the about, fuck's gonna touch the hill? What about Hixie? Ixie could work because yeah. my my thing is you you have to you have to look at it in the sense of like uh you have to look at it in the sense of like you don't have the most objective minded main like Donnie's not an objective minded player like that's just not how he plays it's not yeah. even a bad thing he gets a lot of kills and like obviously if he adapts but then like Reese is gonna be pushing out first he's got that role that's obviously pushing out like fucking crazy so well, the next that's why next I person to you put slot like a in you have to look to at vivid. yeah but like someone's gotta like kind of milk the hill unless you want it to be Cammy which is possible. A lot of people but, are shouting fame right now. A lot of people, no, people are no, talking fame, about fame. Uh, well, fame's a good compliment, complimentary sub that plays more hill-oriented than, like, pushing mm -hmm. out like a maniac. Hmm. It just depends on how you go, because, like, if you have two lunatic subs, then, like, one of your ARs are going to have to do some of the sitting, like, some of the fucking hill chilling. You know what I mean? Yeah. But if you yeah. have, like, one compliment sub that does a little bit of both, then, like, it's different. So it's, like, I feel like with this team, like, just off of last year's stats, just bullshitting, yeah, like, Cammy doesn't really get like crazy amount of hill time either like average amount like nothing crazy so like i feel like you need someone to do some sort of like villain shit like i don't know it would be yeah. tough so i think hixie is a good shout here then yeah i think hixie wouldn't be bad or or fame uh like someone like that they pick what totally pick either hixie I, or, or I, fame. I picked hixie and my my i mean I, I feel like i haven't seen my my mind just autos to fame as an ar because i feel like we saw him more than ar am i tripping I mean, I know he was an SMG towards the end, but I feel like... Well, he can run both. But wait, didn't what didn't Fame come into the league, though? What what was it again? Uh, fame Fame's came into sub. the league as a so sub. Fame, but so the, Fame, no, yeah. yeah. He fame was a was sub in Challengers. Sub. Yeah. He was really good at sub, uh, sub in Challengers. He ran a trophy sub in Challengers, if I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. Then he got... This is what I was told, so take this with a grain of salt. I don't know if this is true. But he came into the league and said that he was not comfortable running a fucking sub at, on the pro level. I don't think that's true. And then he ended up running an AR for Dylan when he replaced Dylan. And then they brought back Dylan and then they put him back to a sub, but he was fine. I heard, I heard they, they trialed him in both roles and they liked him more as an AR. That's what I heard in the beginning. Okay. So that, so that sounds a lot more realistic than what I just said. So scratch what I just said, but like they trial him as both roles. That's Fugazi. So that's though. so that's fucking Fugazi. weird. Like, bro, like, like imagine. Bro, he like, was why would... trying. Real quick, there's a lot of people saying Brian Saint is faded. Guys, if you think Brian Saint single handedly change the role of a player like you don't understand how things work brian saint real quick a little tangent brian saint has received a lot of hate as if brian saint was spawning in with him yeah i mean i, I don't that's know all, what, what that's they're... all i don't know if brian saint's a good coach or not i love brian I, i'm not sure if he's good or not but to think that brian was the single-handed reason that a team was winning or losing is ludicrous that's all i have to say about it the coach just needs to try and keep the culture together and i feel like i feel like brian lost the culture with the team like they lost their way like yeah. they didn't get along, bro. They didn't get along. A lot of sub tweets and shit, but um, <laughs> a lot of bro, sub tweets and shit. Crowder, Crowder and Tony, mm -hmm. is 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 this not facts? If a player catches your eye in challengers, right? Like Fame, who's running a sub machine gun in challengers, You're not and he's frying in are. challengers. Correct. Why would you pick him up when you when you thought he was really good in challengers as a sub, and then trial him on another on another role? What was well, the what, point? That's what I, I don't I don't understand that. And then uh, they they also got rid of Dylan during that. Which made no sense. Yeah, they got rid of an AR player and p and brought up a guy who was frying with a sub in challengers. Yeah, like, I don't... that just doesn't make any sense. Like anybody with a brain would have told you that it's not gonna work out for them in the long run. And I think they I think they caught a little little bit of a honeymoon period 
and then it kind of just like went away and then they were just getting shit on until they brought dylan back and moved fame well i don't think they caught like a fake honeymoon period they beat like shit teams on land at their own thing yeah no? yeah, yeah yeah it was like they went two and oh like on land and it was like yeah it was a whole bunch of food yeah. games but i mean i i will say if you're gonna if you're gonna drop an ar you can't you pick, pick up, up an ar yeah, yeah you pick up an ar and if if they would have just kept fame on the sub initially and kept dylan in the roster it might have helped them in the long run. They would have got more time together. They would, you know, I felt like all the team changes going on. You don't have a lot of time mid season, especially at the end of a season, to like constantly just rotate people in and out. I feel like you're just throwing darts at a dartboard and just hoping that something like works. Yeah. But you gotta make you gotta make smarter decisions. Like you, when you make a change, it has to be a smart change. And mm. picking up a sub player and moving him to an AR and e even trialing him to begin with is just that that's dumb. Yeah. In my opinion, be two so. hours long. Yeah, nah, so, Tiff's uh, got this unlock. Don't worry. I was saying, yeah, you've edited no. a lot of this. You edited, yeah. yeah. Well, no, I, uh, I agree. I think, I think Rocker definitely well, made yeah. some weird decisions, but I just don't so, think yeah, Brian this. was the sole fucking reason they did it, and everyone for some reason thinks that Brian well, every, was like this every team fucking, is different. This, this overlord just changing the roster and making decisions like that's not the way teams work for the most part. Maybe in a rare occasion, but. I, I would be very surprised if, if the way people are acting, I'm not even like seeing it, but like right, Brian said, like said, we're doing this and all three players disagreed and yeah. said like, we're not like, like that's the, you yeah, know what I mean? That's just like, not that's, the way it works. Yeah. Like they all agreed on that. Most likely. I mean, there could be a world where they actually gave him power like that. I have no idea. He could be a dog shit it. coach. Let me just say, I'm not sitting here saying Brian was but, a good coach. He could have been ass, but I'm just saying he didn't, no one's picking and well, changing I know, players and moving pieces without getting the team but, sign off and stuff. Well, yeah, but there's also organizations that, like, prefer to have, like, people that, like, aren't even a part of the team, like, have way more of a say. And then there's, like, obviously the opposite. Like, I feel like every team's got their own, like, method. Yeah. But I don't know, no, like... No pun intended, of course. No pun intended, of course, yeah. But, like, I, that's why I feel like it's hard to, like, really speculate, like, who makes the decision. So I have yeah, no idea. some of them have a but, terrible fucking method. I mean, but to bring it back to your thing, so it's like, yeah, I think Hicksy or Fame in that team is good, and then you can keep moving. What there. do we think about LAG? So we have our cities on Main, or... or yeah. I like Alec on main, dude. I'm so like I want Alec back to the main AR role where he's always found success. I don't mind Ender next to him either. I feel like I feel like Alec and Ender could be a good shout. I think Alec and Nasty is a good shout. But what do you guys think? Um, I don't want to put duo. I don't want to put Alec and Pierce back together. I don't. Nah, I don't do Alec and Pierce. Mm. I feel it, it, I feel like for flex. Set, you're Unless, set on Alec, right? Well, I mean, Alec, Alec just hasn't been announced as off LAG, so I'm I'm operating under the assumption that Alec is staying at LAG. That's why yeah. I'm set on Alec. But I'm also not set on Ender on the on the flex. Like, I I personally want to make Ender a main. But you obviously, I'm not main. just going to change uh, a role. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. What about throwing someone like Beans in there? You can throw Beans on a main. Well, Beans, Beans should be main. main, or main or no. Beans as like a flex, like someone that's gonna push out more. I feel like Beans challenges a lot and plays pretty fucking aggressive to be a main. I feel like I a Beans. So. I feel like a Beans Maybe. Alec duo could be solid. I feel uh, like Beans is like such an L trigger type player, though. Well, like, see, but be see, you say that, but Beans had the most engagements on Boston, like per per ten per ten minutes. Yeah, Beans is so quick. Like, Bean, yeah. Beans, Beans is a challenge. Yeah. Yeah. Beans is a challenge. Beans, Beans, so, the most engagements on so, Boston for real. The way it worked, on, like out of all their ARs, yes, he he had so he had forty three point two, <laughs> which is more than Trent, more than Awakening, more than more than Zin. Zin had the least. So what fuck. the fuck? And, yeah, um, what the fuck? And then yeah, so out of, out of all those though. guys, like, uh, did you? Let's see. Yeah, you did. But um, yeah, I feel like Beans plays like a little bit more quick than like people see. Like I feel like he chows a lot of fucking crazy shit, and I what? feel like if you're gonna have him do that, like I feel like you can fit him. Like, kind of compliment them with someone that will get more hill time. I don't mind Beans. Although, I like Nasty as well. Yeah, Nasty's not terrible either. But I, I think Beans has got, like, a good gunny in that sense. I feel like Beans would be the better fit. I don't know. Fuck it. Let's do it. I'm down. Alec and Beans. Now we need two SMGs with Alec and Beans. So our city's on main. Beans left, on bro. flex. You have Bance. You have Fame. You have Asum. Um, Where's Gwyn at? I have no idea what Gwyn looks like. You know, do I? <laughs> yeah, no, I, do I have I, not a fucking clue what Gwen looks like. Yeah, I was thinking maybe the guy with the white background in there might be Gwen. Is that Gwen down here? Right here? The guy with the white background next to Spar? on the bottom. Yeah, next to Spar. Yeah, I have not a goddamn idea yeah, what he looks like, dude. <laughs> yeah, who's that? Who is that? Is that Gwen? 
I don't know. Who the fuck is that? I don't know what, no, I don't think, I don't know what Gwen looks like either. Is Gwen on this list? That's not Gwen. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Who the hell is Gwyn? Right. Oh wait, that's, that's Lucky. That's right. my former team. That's not Lucky. No, Lucky's right here. This is Lucky right here. I don't even know far, your former teammates Far look like right them. top Jesus. row. Oh, he's up here. Oh, he's hidden by my my chat. There oh, he is. There's Gwyn. Oh, who the fuck is that? There's Gwyn right here. Wait, who? Which one's Gwyn? Gwyn's right here. I just moved him to the spot You're next to oh, Spartan. Oh, who's the guy with the white background? And, and who and is Gwyn, that guy? He's an aggressive sub. Yeah. <laughs> who the hell is this guy, dude? <laughs> Yeah, no disrespect. No, disrespect. no not at all. But who is he? Who, who, who yeah. is that? Someone's got to know that is. A lot, a lot of people coming up. Like we don't know what their faces will go. We know their gamer tags. So that is not know, like, lucky. Lucky is right here. Is that's lucky right here, and that's medals next to him. They're all saying Jimbo. Like, bro, can they get these guys stop trolling for once? What is right, so, going on? Right. Well, if you could find Gwyn and he's like he's an aggressive sub, I feel like he's a really good pick. To like, I, I would take the risk on Gwyn at th at this point in the Fuck rosters him. that we're making. There he is, Gwyn. Yeah, Fuck it. So, I think you gotta I think you gotta fucking put Gwyn. Zach at, Daniel said that's whoever made this tier list. Put himself in. <laughs> 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 Can you imagine this that that's the guy who made the tier list? <laughs> yeah, and his headshot's like so different to everybody else's. Uh, Tim, Timmy's in my chat. He said Gwyn can pretty much do anything. I, I feel like at this point, if you're if you're like obviously the last on the rosters, you gotta put like someone like we have to take a risk on someone like Gwyn. Alright, so then who do you complete? Do you put someone like a Havoc or like a Bans or like a fan? Yeah, you can do something like that. I mean, I, I got dude. The fact, like, looking at the players left, the fact that some of these players are going to be left out is crazy. Like, it's like, I, like, I feel bad, but it's like there, there really isn't enough room for every player that I think that has potential to be in the league. Like, it's just no matter what, there's gonna be players left out, and that's what's fucking shit. Uh, Everybody's yeah. saying, why are they not messaging Asum? Asum will set him up like crazy. I mean, bro, I said Asum. Asum. I just, the more I talk about Asum, the more friendship leagues I get. You know what I mean? I, it's, I, I can only talk I think, about Asum so much, bro. No, I think Asum's I a, good, Asum. a good... Yeah, I rate him too, but I think at the same time, he has to start playing more consistent. And then that, with that being said, like I think he's going to obviously... I think he'll fall into a team in the bot, like these like last three teams. But like... Obviously, like I don't know if he's like first up right now. Like He just hasn't played like super, super consistent. I think, yeah. I think Asum's really good, but being honest mm. at the same time like I, I think he can be more consistent with his role mm. yeah he i just needs to, he needs i just to be really good teammates i don't know yeah, enough about Gwyn to like pick a good smg duo for him, you know what i mean like i don't know enough about the way yeah you're Gwyn taking plays, a risk at so this like, point you're taking a risk so at this point you're just picking a random smg and hoping they click well if if if, if Gwyn, so phantoms in my chat he said that he can do basically anything if Gwyn is like but is someone fast? that can is he like a is he a role player what is he what is he what is he right now is he a slayer like timmy what is he We'll see. Yeah, like, I'll let you know what he says. Give me, is he a slayer or a role player? Or or better yet, compare him to a, a player in the league that we know. Yeah, give us a comparison. Like, give us like a, yeah, th th I think that's the best way to do it. Give us a comparison. If he gives us a good comparison, I'll let you know. But, uh, because yeah, I, I feel like if he's someone that can slay out a lot and like kind of like be like more of like a, like a lurkier kind of sub and then you pair him with someone like Asim, he could be really good too. Yeah. But Asim's definitely not a bad shot there too. It just depends on like what you're going with. I just don't know much about his play style specifically, but he is really good at S and D, from what I was told. Yeah. So like. You guys don't think Asim and Joe could weirdly work? Asim and Joe deceives. Yeah. I have a question uh, mark on Joe too. I don't know. I don't there's like a, that duo. There's there's just a question mark on Joe for me. It's the same thing kind of with like Asim on like the London team. Like as much as I said, he needs to be consistent. Like some th those two teams specifically, like Gorillas in London, I feel like chalked the year up before it was even halfway through, and like it was just such a shitty environment that I think all players played worse than they should have. So it's like hard 100%. to like rate like it's hard to rate some of those guys like accurately without like seeing yeah. it just because I, I I literally think like both those teams went there. Guys, really I'm on Apex with, like, as soon how, as we how finish this we list. Get the fuck home. This is went on for a little so, like, longer I don't than know. anticipated, but having a good time. But yeah, I'm on Apex right after this. That's a but crazy I, mentality, but that's how um, people. Think. I mean, I mean, it's not. I don't think it was like actually the mentality, but I think like secretly that's how it felt. You, you know, hundred percent. I feel like there was like no life. It's my there, point. There was yeah. no. I mean, especially when the league was chalked for them and they were so far behind. That's what, that's what I mean. Just like there's nothing to play for. Okay, so who's the fourth? Okay. Um. Who? I would do. I would do fame. Havoc or Asim? One of those three. Fame, Havoc, or Asim? Mm -hmm. I might go Havoc. I think Havoc's pretty good. Just and he, uh, he said he reminds him of a Black Ops 4 Priesta. He ran the second sub slash first sub for us. Black but Ops also 4 ran the, Priesta was filthy. But he also ran the second AR just as good. So he's basically like a really good fucking flex. 
So he could do both, and but but he could also run Dude, the main roles. I'm putting Havoc well. there just because it looks weird, and I love it. Like it just looks like a weird ratty fuck team, you know? It does. So I'm could gonna work. fucking I'm gonna keep it there. We're gonna okay. call this team Rat Bastards. Rat Bastards. I they like just that. look rat like bastards. rats. Beansley with a yeah. sniper. Alex laying down. Dick of the dirt in the hill. Gwyn is. I mean, I don't fucking know what he's doing, but Havoc's flanking. Yeah, Havoc's that flanking. work. That is a ratty <laughs> team. All right. <laughs> Now, Florida Next. Mutineers, Vickles stays. Um, if I'm being completely honest, I don't know much about the current form of the Spanish players like Lucky, Medals, etc. So this list is going to be players that we know or that I know a lot more. Got to bring in I know Real. That, I know there's, yeah, Real, Real, I feel like I know a good amount about compared to like, like I'm not sure how Medals is playing these days. Like it's weird how, I don't know. I would bring is this, Real. Is, is this team doing that route? I'm not like, sure. Apparently, it's rumored that the Heretic stuff fell through because they abandoned that's, yeah, trademark. That's what I thought. Who knows? Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. But I will put Nasty on this list. So, I, so Nasty, just so I don't forget about him, Nasty will be on London. So what do we think here? Because I do think Ender, if Ender is healthy, he's severely underrated right now. You know what I mean? Like a, a, 100%. A healthy Ender is filthy. I'll be right back when you keep going. Okay. I agree, Tony. <laughs> So, but I do think with Vickle, I do want like a, an SMG Slayer type guy. I don't know. Not many left. Asim? Do you think Asim can step up into that SMG like Slayer role? Yeah, he's he's got a good ceiling, but he's got a, like Crowder said, it's all about consistency. But you can say that about a lot of subs on this list, right? Any, a lot of subs on a, on a bottom on a bottom half of the league with their with their bottom tier teams, they all have inconsistency problems because the systems just weren't good. What about Gunless? Nah, uh, not as a sub. They're reportedly keeping Brack, but like, bro, I'm, I mean... Reportedly, yeah. They are. They they did say that, Tony. They did say they're keeping Brack. I mean, it, if that's rumored, then I'm putting Brack there. I have to. You might as well. Put him, put him there. Put him there with Viggle. I'm not sure if I agree with keeping these two, especially when you had someone like Capsital, but if that's rumored, I'll put him there. Yeah, if Capsital doesn't make it on the team, but I don't know what they're doing. I mean, this... See, now it gets trolly, man. Brack, Viggle. I mean, Jesus Christ. Put Illy and Nasty together. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm making I'm making Indira main and I'm having Nasty at flex. I don't... I mean, Indira's on this list and Nasty's on this list. And this is what I... If Brack is rumored here, then I, I have to have him here. And then for mm. SMGs next to these two, I mean, good lord. Who do you even go with at this point? Or better yet, who's running flex? Hillman? What about Diamond Con on the flex? I think Diamond Con got f***ed this past year. I think Diamond Con's a sleeper, uh, I bro. I mean, Dom Diamond Con was the best player on LG. He's to the right, by the way. LG. He's in the bottom right. Yeah, I, know he looks, I, I know what he looks like. Uh, Diamond Con was the best player on LAG Academy, and he got screwed because of a visa. What about an Ace and Kremp duo? Saw a couple of people in the chat talking about Ace and Kremp. That could work. I mean, that team's about as consistent as, I mean, Jesus Christ. I mean, yeah, but Tony, is there any sub on this list that you can say? Yeah, but then you have three subs. There's no flex. No? Then you have no flex. I was no talking flex. about maybe, maybe for that London team. Oh, you know, London. It depends. Oh, it, I mean, it depends, it depends who you, who, who well, you put them on. I'm, yeah. I'm putting Vance on that London team. Yeah, Vance is a good shout. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely putting Vance on the London team. I mean, now it just gets sketchy. Now it's just... Florida needs two. London needs, in my opinion, like an SMG Slayer. Everyone keeps saying Pentagram, and Pentagram is very talked about, but if I'm being honest, I also have no idea about Pentagram's play style. I'm not sure if he's streaky. Like, I feel like he's been one of the most talked about challenger players, but I feel like I still don't know anything about him. I don't know what type of player he is. Role player, Slayer, I don't know. I would I would definitely put Asim on one of these teams, for sure. And Joe... I feel like Asim and Joe should be on a team. I, I agree. I just putting them with these teams look like shit. I mean, that's all. The, that's how it is, though. You know, like, it's just like the cream of the crop. It's We're not it. building top four rosters right now. Nah, yeah, I, mean, yeah, I guess you're like, right. I guess that's the saying, problem. Like, trying to build teams look, that can compete, and, sub, and we're right? at the and point like, where these guys aren't going to be able to compete. Yeah, like, we, we, we look at a sub, right? And we're like, yeah, he's got consistency problems. Okay, but, but then we go down the list, and it's like, okay, they all got consistency problems. You know, they were all on those teams that just didn't have a good system, and they were all just kind of getting, like, slammed the whole year. So this team needs a flex. Individually, they were just all so up and down. I mean, what do you think? Brack, Gunless, Vickle, Joe deceives Ender, Nasty, Bance, Asim, and then and then like I'm just pissed that I have to leave wait, certain players. Wait, am I, am I am I the only one that thinks Asim and Joe could really work? Like, do you got you guys don't think Asim and Joe could play together? I, I think didn't. Asim and Joe can weirdly work like with the with their personalities and play styles. Like they Vickle might be able to make could, something happen. I think Vickle and Joe can make something happen too, though. Yeah, Vickle and Joe's a good shout. I like the Vickle and Joe too. I like that as well. Eason, Bance, Nasty, and Illy's the weirdest fucking team ever, bro. I know. I mean, it's just... But, like, we're at the point where I feel like there's no actual 
good pick. But yeah, I mean, I'm not sure if I can put Nasty and Ace on the same team again. No, you gotta, yeah. you gotta I mean, separate them, bro. Their culture is chalk, bro. Also, Jesus, what do Joe, you do then? We, Joe you know tends what? to play more. Joe tends to play more of like a hill. How about type, that? So he How might about be, that? He might pair with him. Better. How about that? Asim, Gwyn, Beans, Arsides, and Ender, Nasty, Bants, and Havoc. I mean, I these like, rosters I are really fucking like trite. The, I really like the Asim Gwyn. I like that, and I like the Vickle Joe. Definitely not feeling the bands havoc at all. I mean, do dude, like there's, that. I mean, there's Terrible. no, there's no way around this a, 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 a shit team. I really now, don't Pierce, know. We don't think Pierce should. Oh, Pierce is there. Never mind. I have, no, we have him on. I have Pierce with Brad. I think and, I, th I, I said this, Chris, but I think Big P needs to get back in the league. Like, like oh, he, he needs another shot right now. Like he needs another shot, and now's the time. Like, no, he, I agree. He needs to get back in there. I think his Pierce talent's will be in the being league. wasted. His talent is being fucking wasted, bro. Period. I think Pierce will be in the league. <clears throat> I hope. I hope he is. Disrespecting Real? I don't know anything about Real. If I'm being uh, Real, 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 Real is looking good. Okay, bro. so yeah, Real's uh, pretty good. Okay, bro. so who am I keeping off? Because that's just another player that we think is promising that has to be taken off. Listen, this is what you're gonna do, bro. Now, yeah, let me. You're know. gonna do. You're gonna do. Illy. I'm not taking Havoc out of the league, dude. Illy, Diamond Con, Real, and Asim. Illy, Diamond Con, Real, and Asim. Yup, that's what you do. And where does oh. Nasty go? Because I will not keep Nasty off this list. I think that guy's gross. That's um, what sucks. We if, don't if, have, if you there's no room here, for these gotta, guys. There's no room Asim. for these guys. If you have Nasty here, you got to take Asim off. I don't know if their culture would work, bro. It might be like, and no London Royal Raven player can play with each other, bro. I think I think that's compromised. How about we got to look at we got to look at personalities, bro. Oh, brother! I mean, this is fucking impossible. <sighs> Nasty could have been on that thieves team. I like I like the Joe and Gwyn. Uh, uh, duo too. Like the Joe and like Gwen duo. I like that. I don't mind that. I mean, I mean, Havoc and Bants is a trolley duo. Havoc and Bants is just not gonna work, bro. I mean, Tony, it's hard, bro. You're gonna leave people on the list, and the thing is, is like people that are even like aren't even on a team can be on a team with different ARs. Like, I just feel like different personalities work with each other. You know, like when you when you're building a team. Um, listen, everybody's saying this friendship shit too. Like, bro, I don't know. I I don't know who Gwyn is. Never talked to the guy once in my life. I just heard no, he's, he's good promising. though. He's good. He's I know, promising. but friendship got... league. I mean, I don't I don't know these. Like, I don't know nasty personally. I don't talk I mean, to Cole bro. Havoc. I don't talk to Vickle. I don't talk to Joe Deceives. Like, you can say friendship league, but I'm not. I don't I don't the know half these the... guys. I know, the same people who aren't even friends with these guys say the same thing, bro. Yeah. They, they say the same shit. It's just like, it's just honest. It's just trying to be honest. And, TJ and has bro, to be out? Like, no, that's a friend I won't remove. <laughs> TJ has to be out? No, that he's, a he's that, a friend of ours. That one's non negotiable. He's a good friend. <laughs> that one I won't negotiate. Uh, yeah, that's the <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you're stupid. Um. You know? But, but I just feel like people well, no. underrate like a lot of these players, bro. Like, bro, the way people talk about TJ is crazy, bro. Nah, they disrespect him. I mean, but they disrespect so many people. Like, people in the chat and like in the comments, they just disrespect some of these players so much because they had a bad year. And it's like, okay, guess what? Kenny didn't have the best year, but now he's on Optic Texas. Switch, you Gwen know, like, and Asim? Hmm. Like, bro, there's like with COD, it's such a team game, and there's so many different factors to competing on you know different things how about like that or oh brother i was about to put i was about to put havoc back for gwyn and it's vickle havoc brack and pierce the same florida roster but it's pierce for fellow <laughs> oh I don't my God. that team that team is you just gotta break that team apart up bro you gotta break that shit apart bro you have to i don't know man it, the, their culture is shot, bro. It's the same with London. Like, you can't have Nasty and Ace and play together. It's, it's, the, the culture's gone. It's yeah. fucking gone, bro. It's gone. Done. It's finished. It's oh, finished. brother. Switch Hixie and Havoc? I mean, at this point, 
Sure, I will do that. Whatever. Well, we're calling it here. Ladies and gentlemen, here are your 12 Call of Duty League teams. The top four, these have been rumored for however long now. We're not going to... For LA Thieves, we have Accuracy, Abuza, Nero, and Standy. For the Minnesota Rocker, we have Attach, Ghosty, Hook, and TJ Haley. For Seattle Surge, it's Clayster, Awakening, Mac, and Afro. Boston mm-hmm. Breach is Slasher, Snoopy, Priesta, and Capsule. Vegas Legion is Temp, Cami, Vivid, and Havoc. LAG mm-hmm. is Our City's Beans, Joe Deceives, and Asum. Florida Mutineers is Brack, Gunless, Vickle, and Gwyn. And the London Royal Ravens is Illy, Nasty, Bance, and Hixie. Yeah, after the top four, these teams are fucking dog shit. I mean, some of these teams... Listen, but we did the best we could, listen, brother. We, we did, did the, the best, best we, we could. could. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. <laughs> thank you to Zuma. Thank you to Crowder. Give us yeah. your thoughts on these horrible teams below in the description. Thank you for watching. <laughs>